Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Back at it again with another hair tutorial. I am having way too much fun with these in case you guys haven't noticed. But I'm going to start off with some freshly washed hair and I'm going to go ahead and apply my Garnier Frutis Smoothing Treat 1 Minute Hair Mask to the hair. I'm going to start from the root all the way down to the ends and just massage that in as well as I can. Don't be afraid, use as much product as you think needed. Once I go ahead and massage that all in, I'm going to grab my comb and go ahead and split my hair. I'm going to be doing a center part. If you don't know what a center part is, it's basically like if you're going to do a half up, half down. So it's not going to be in the middle, like, it's not a middle part, it's a center part. Um, and obviously you can see me doing it, I just was trying to explain it the best way I can. But once I get it split evenly, I'm going to go ahead and twist the top hair the top half of my hair into a little bun and secure that with a hair tie. So once you have your hair parted, you're gonna be going in with the Moroccan Curling Perfection Defining Cream from OGX and you're just going to apply that to the back portion, back half of your hair. You're gonna do the same thing as you did earlier, just start off at the root and work your way down to the ends and then go ahead and apply more product on your hand and just run your fingers through your hair. Apply as much product as you think needed. I'd rather use a lot of product and have my hair looking nice and moisturized and not frizzy than, you know, be a little frugal with the product and not have the best end result. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and secure that back half with a hair tie and we're going to get started and get focused on the front half of our hair. So I really enjoy this updo. It's something fun and cute and perfect for all occasions. So we're going to get started and I'm going to go ahead with the same defining cream from OGX and just apply that in the same manner that I did before root to end and run your fingers through it. Um, I think it's important to just have enough product in your hair that way it's manageable to do and like I said the end result will be amazing. I'm going to go ahead and grab my Eco Style Olive Oil Gel and I'm going to be applying that to my hair as well. I always apply gel when I'm going to do a braid. I just like the hair to look smooth and clean and not too messy and it can get messy. If you braid natural hair you know that sometimes it just has a mind of its own. So I'm going to grab my brush and just smooth that front part out and I'm going to go ahead and split it. Now with this braid it was very interesting because the way that my hair is split, the way that my arms are built, it's just it was a little bit difficult than to do like a braid just going straight back from your hair. So this part is a little bit of a struggle game, but I do pick up on it and it does get better. And I think it's maybe at this point where I started feeling more comfortable and just having a flow. I just wasn't sure how I was going to grab the hair and how it was going to look. It's going to, you know, the braid is at the front of the hair, so you obviously want it to look its best because that's what people are going to see when they first look at this hairstyle. So... Once I got a little bit more comfortable at how I'm grabbing the hair and how it was going to look, I just made sure to stay focused, take my time, and make sure I do it all the way across. So we're starting at one end of the head, and we're going to braid all the way to the other side and all the way down. Now, for this hairstyle in particular, I wouldn't just stop at the end of the head and leave the curls out. I do plan on wrapping this braid around my ponytail so I just thought it would be best to braid it down all the way to the ends. Um, yeah so we're gonna just go ahead and do that and I know I have a little bit of a serious face on but I am having fun and I am enjoying guys it's just I'm very focused when doing these things. So as you can see I'm braiding it all the way down to the end of the hair I'm not going to take it all the way to the tip, but I think at this point I'm just going to like wrap it around my finger and do a curl per usual. Now once I'm done braiding my hair, I'm going to go back with the Eco Style Olive Oil Gel and I'm going to grab my handy dandy toothbrush and go ahead and do my baby hairs. 
Now, normally I always do my baby hairs at the end of a hairstyle, but whenever I'm braiding my hair, I do it right after I'm done with the braid just to help with any frizz that may be poking out. And I think it's better to do it that way so when your braid and your hair dries, it dries nice and smooth and flat versus waiting for it to dry and then you trying to brush the hairs down and it just has like that frizzy cast around the braid. It just, I don't like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do the baby hairs. And I pulled out a few curls at the end, nothing too serious, something light, just so it didn't look so like pulled back and it had a little bit of... I don't know, jazz to it. So you're going to go ahead and do that. And once you've done that, you're going to go back to the back part of your hair. Now I'm going to grab some gel and I'm just going to smooth out the ponytail. You can decide if you want to do a high ponytail, a low ponytail, maybe midway. I didn't do it too low. I didn't do it too high. I didn't want it to be at the top of my head, but I also didn't want it to be at the back of my neck. I'm going to use a brush to brush the, brush the hairs down. So it's all smooth and seamless, and I'm going to use a hair tie to just secure the ponytail. And once I'm done, I'm going to grab my bobby pins and go ahead with wrapping my braid around the ponytail. And I'm going to show you guys that I did it over and around, but once I looked in the mirror, I really didn't like it that way, so I took it back out and I went under and around. You can be the judge of that when it comes to that point when doing the hairstyle. I secured it with one bobby pin. You can use more if you need. I only needed one and I'm still smoothing out the front. And then my favorite part is bringing out my hair jewelry. I've used these in videos before. I absolutely love them. They are amazing and they can really up your hairstyle just by adding a few to a braid, a twist, you know, any, any situation you have going on. So I'm just going to add a few and make sure that it looks to my taste and my liking I guess and I'm just gonna add I think one more yep one more I was debating <laughs> and then I think that was basically it and of course to finish off the look I added a little makeup I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of the hairstyle. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, guys, bye.